Hey guys, my name is Komsom and welcome back to FNAF 3. And today guys, we are going to be doing Nightmare Aggressive Mode. So, you might ask, what is Nightmare Aggressive Mode? So, Nightmare Aggressive Mode is Night 6, which is Nightmare Mode, on Aggressive Mode. It's a cheat. It's, like, not a cheat in theory because it makes the game actively harder. But we're going to be doing that today in today's video. Uh, I did the good ending off camera just because you guys probably saw it already from other YouTubers in the past and stuff like that. And I honestly didn't want to play, like do everything we caught everything all over again so i just decided to skip it so let's get into this hey guys it's me komasana i wanted to do some post commentary on tell you what i'm doing and stuff like that in fnaf 3 the biggest thing with fnaf 3 is lowering around spring chat that's the entire thing about the game Spring Trap's the only one that can kill you. So, here's some tips if you're trying to do this mode. Do not make Spring Trap go in cameras 9 or 10. If he's there, see all the uh, vents, but you do not want him there the entire night. You want him at cam 2 and still cam 15 like I did right there. What I'm doing is flame run flips. It's me flipping the camera back and forth, and it gets rid of any animatronics on the camera. For instance, if Boon Boy, Puppet, or whatever is there. Do not do this on cam 4. Never go in cam 4. Cam 4 will spawn Mango. And you can't get rid of mango at all. So, doing flame one flips right here. Basically doing that constantly. Checking camera five. What you want to focus on is audio. So, there's a noise that Swing Chat makes every time he moves. So, you want to pay attention to that. And there's ambience to place when he's in camera five and three. And when he's in camera two. And basically in your office and one. So, basically, if you hear this anxiety playing music. And it gets louder. That... That's when he's in camp too. By the way, Phantom Freddy also makes a noise, so make sure if it's actually Spring Trap that's in the office or him. So I'm just doing Flame One flip flips right now. I'm getting in this night. I got very lucky with Spring Trap's RNG. Spring Trap is very luck based, and he can destroy you if he feels like it or not. And that's what it felt like. There was many failed attempts. I'll probably put them in the video after this is done because it's kind of funny. But this game, it, it's not the hardest max mode in, in FNAF. It's probably the second easiest, but it's still hard. No matter what, it's a max mode. So I'm still doing flame on flips. Listen to audio cues if he moves or not. Also, when he, you see a bunch of static on screen that glasses for like two seconds, that means spring traps in that camera. So make sure you see that, and that's a good indicator to well, you know where he is. Because if you don't know where he is, that can, you know, you can die, basically. So main things you should look forward to is Audio cues that Spring Trap himself makes, so basically, if he's in a camera, if he's walking, or he's in the vent, or if he's in cameras 5-3, he will play an ambience noise at 50%, and if he's in camera 2, or in your office, it will become even louder. Just, by the way, Phantom, see, look, there's Spring Trap. So, what I, did, what, I, what I did was basically, in camera 2, I played the audio so he can go over there, and this is a constant loop we're going to be doing, because it's very safe. We know where Swing Trap is, and that's why you want to still cam uh, vent 15, because he can still kill you from there. Yeah. And there's not much where you can get. There's only like two ways we can go, and Cam 5's vent leads him right into the glass area where you're looking at. So it's not you don't need to seal it. So Cam 2 is awesome to seal. So you just gotta get lucky with Swing Trap. So Swing Trap actually has a chance of ignoring your audio cues uh, when you play an audio in one of the cameras. So, there's a chance that he actually might not listen to you and he could kill you basically and you have to do a stare off, which is very intense and luck based. So, I'm just flipping to the camera, making sure he's in camera too, doing this over and over again, you know, just, just the usual stuff for this max mode. Because I don't want him to go into any other camera. Once, the ambient, once that ambience music goes away, that means he's at the top floor. And you do not want that. So I suggest lowering him to camera 5. So he don't die. Spring Trap's there. Play camera 2. He's gone. So I take this chance to reboot my audio. Camera's not that important. Audio is very important in camera 2. Because camera's basically useless. If you're just going to be looking at my like, see Spring Trap's there, there. And he left. So this is my perfect opportunity to reset my cameras. So it was very nice. Also, if you if you heal him in the vent, um, that's also a perfect opportunity to uh, put an audio cue and uh, like fix one of your problems. Uh, Twenty step appealed again, fix audio. You only get two audio uh, cues, so make make them worth the while because you don't want to be resetting it constantly. 
Also, do not be a scout of Shadow Forty, not Shadow Forty, Phantom Forty. Uh, if this don't lock at him, if you don't AFK in the main area, you shouldn't even get jump scared with him. But when you're doing a stale down, he can be very scary. I don't think any of the other uh, animatronics were a problem to Phantoms. Just clean up again. He listened to the kill. I just got, went ahead, I die, reset bro. my audio. I should have been a little bit faster on that, but it's whatever. But it's 4 a.m. right now. Night's almost over, and that's when things are all gonna get intense because something bad happens to me. What could happen to you? So I just want to tell you guys that. Also, since I'm here, I know I haven't beat beaten 1020 mode yet. 1020 mode is way hard. It's one of the hardest challenges in FNAF. So oh my God, sorry for not doing that. Okay, so here's what happened. So basically, it's 5 a.m. and oh, Spring Trap did not listen to my audio cue, and that is bad, bad news. And I had no time to check it, so. Basically, when he's dull, you can only play an audio cue on camera one. And that's what I wanted and did. Uh, I actually got scouts, so I just did 41 flips. You can bug him out with this. But he, I did that. Bloom Boy was dull. Good thing I had fast reflexes because I would have been jump scouted and died. So right now, I have no audio. All my Come camera's on. not working. So this is pretty bad. Please, so I'm flipping the, the camera back happy. and forth until I see Spring Trap. One, I cross my camera. Still because, don't. see, like what he did it right okay. I can't Please. do nothing now. I can't Please. open up anything. If I Please. do, I will get jump scared by Spring Trap. Please, 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 come on, end the night, end the night, end it, end it, end it, oh my god, we did it. Sorry guys, I was freaking out. We beat Nightmare Mode, Aggressive Mode, the pizza we are still born now, so it doesn't matter. Holy crap, oh my god. It's not as bad as FNAF 2, but it's very luck based. Because I got lucky with Spring Trap, and he wasn't coming to like any of the cameras. And I could tell by the ambience he was playing. But, we beat it FNAF 3. I never have to play this game again unless I have to do it for charity or something. Which I probably will do. But that was Five Nights at Freddy's 3. It's a okay game. It's pretty boring to watch, but... Nightmare aggressive mode is actually pretty crazy because you can die within like one second if you make the wrong move But if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe uh, Expect FNAF 4 within two weeks because I like to take breaks from mainline FNAF games to play fan games and other stuff But I will see you guys next time